Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. XRP soars higher as three bullish technical signals flash. This is the headline from CryptoNews.com. And the markets have been very spicy as of late. Very interesting, especially uh, given that uh, we saw mostly negative and then sideways trading for XRP and you know mostly the, the crypto asset class at large for, for months uh, you know, after the, the global pandemic really uh, took a beating to the markets on, I guess it was beginning March 12th, I think that was the date. So very cool stuff. And I've been searching for, I mean this literally days, for negative XRP headlines, um, just in terms of price action, because they're almost always out there from the likes of Bitcoinist.com, NewsBTC.com, and there are a few others. And I wasn't seeing them. I wasn't seeing them. I was like, huh, so like even the Bitcoin maxi trolls, they ain't got nothing to say negative about XRP. And then I saw this headline. I finally found one. And so in the interest of covering both the positive and the negative in terms of XRP, uh, you know, on this channel, I'm, I'm going to run through this. It's a negative headline, but I will say this even so, uh, it's actually not that negative an article. It's almost like, man, it's like uh, these Bitcoin maxi analysts here, the Bitcoin trolls writing this stuff up here. They're like, well, we, we can only be so deceptive. Right? <laughs> so but this is the headline. If XRP doesn't step on the gas, a 25% drop is imminent, says analyst. And so uh, it's, not even, it's not even a proclamation that this is absolutely what's going to happen or is even perhaps likely to happen. It's more like, hmm, what negative uh, spin can we put on a, a headline, on a title for one of our pieces because we're Bitcoinist.com. That's pretty much what it is. I uh, also got this piece from the Daily Hoddle. Ripple moves 83 million XRP as large Bitcoin and Ethereum investors transfer millions in crypto. There's just a lot going on here. But before we go any further, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you would please delicately tap that like button, I'd appreciate it. And also go ahead and subscribe to the Moon Lambeau channel. Because if you don't subscribe to the Moon Lambeau channel, you are dead to me. Take a look at this funny little video. You have to see this. This is going to put a smile on your face. Look at this sweet-ass Lamborghini. Do you see this? Oh, man, you can tell that thing's heading to the moon. It's a Lamborghini made out of cardboard, and it's like a Flintstones mobile. Like you, well, it's got pedals, actually, so you're not, like, running, like, yabba-dabba-doo style. But look at, the, look at this. It's like a bike set up. This just cracks me up. I'm sorry. I was laughing so hard when I saw this. I was like, there's no way I cannot share this with uh, people that are watching the Moon Lambo channel. Like this this is so well done. Like the amount of effort put into the crafting of this cardboard. So uh, given the uh, the clearly sturdy workmanship, I think that this particular cardboard Lamborghini uh, is is moonbound. I I think it's going to end up on the moon. I'm highly impressed by this. I kind of want one actually. I want one. I don't even want a real Lamborghini anymore. I just I just want this thing. <laughs> Tell me you at least got a few chuckles out of this. It, it's it's funny. All right, so you've got XRP at twenty four cents. You got Bitcoin at eleven thousand eighty seven, and the crypto market cap was as class three hundred twenty three billion. Shout out to Pucci for sending this next piece to me. I appreciate tagging me on uh, all sorts of stuff on here. Oh wait, maybe did you not tag me in this? I guess I was just highlighting you. I thought you... Okay, whatever. You normally tag me in this stuff. I guess I just came across this in my news feed. So you know what? I take back my thank you, Poochie. But so here you go. Here's the headline, though. Um, XRP soars higher as three bullish technical signals flash. Now i got to double check to make sure he didn't tag me. I don't want to be a jackass. No, he didn't tag me. All right. I take my thank you back, Poochie. Despite only slight gains seen in Bitcoin and most major altcoins today, the Ripple-affiliated XRP token continued its surge higher in the market, while technical analysis shows several bullish signals. And uh, so XRP was up almost 9% over the last 24 hours, with the majority of the gains seen late last night in the United States and then the early hours of the Asian trading session today. The gains today made XRP the second best performing crypto asset among the top 20 coins by market capitalization, following only EOS, uh, which was up nearly 10% at the same time. So pretty close regardless, like neck and neck. Uh, but uh, additionally, today's gains also mean that XRP now leads Bitcoin on a weekly basis with a seven-day performance of 21% versus Bitcoin's 18% rise over the same period. 
the rally in XRP first started to gain momentum as the price of the coin broke through its 200-day moving average line on Saturday, bringing additional gains on both Monday and Tuesday this week. Don't you love hearing the comparison, an honest comparison about the price section of XRP versus Bitcoin? Because now that it looks favorable for XRP, super duper. But you still don't see headlines, uh, except for on the Moon Lambo channel, because I just do it for fun, of uh, XRP outperforming Bitcoin, <laughs> which it is right now. For, I mean, if you look over the last 30 days, which I am, because I, I don't like these BS narratives. Uh, uh, just, and it is just for the sake of ideology. Like, it's very clear to me that is these headlines about how XRP is not moving, blah, 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 and you pick your timeline, paint the picture, but it actually does scare people, and I don't like that, so I call it out. But anyway, the 200-day moving average has acted as important resistance for the XRP price recently, with failed attempts at breaking above it seen on many occasions, including on April 30th, June 2nd, and July 9th. A break above this line might lead to a strong rally, as traders speculate that the coin may be entering a bull market. And that's pretty much all I've been seeing these last several days in particular. Uh, it's just bullish prediction after bullish prediction, and a lot of these analysts seem to have very high confidence that uh, not only is this happening, but it could perhaps just be the beginning. Uh, now, of course, I don't have a financial background. Again, want to be super duper clear about it. Uh, I am not offering financial advice. I'm just sharing an opinion, but I'm just a regular Joe Schmo community member here. Just please understand that. And thank you for putting up with me saying that in every video, but it's the responsible and right thing to do. Did you guys hear that? That's that's my pet peeve dream, and she's got doggy dreams. I hope the mic's picking it up. I think it's cute. She's just going... Rrr, rrr, rrr. <laughs> Thanks for uh, making yourself known, peeve. You're in the video now. <sighs> Tension hog. Anyway, following the gains on Monday and Tuesday, the price also followed through with further gains today, uh, which caused it to break above its post-Black Thursday high from April 30th at around 23 cents. Now, lastly, traders basing their decisions on technical analysis may also have noticed the so-called cup and handle pattern in the chart as the price broke higher uh, during the weekend, further boosting optimism. So all around very positive sentiment from that analyst within that article. So let's shift over to this bitcoinist.com. Oh yes, the most reliable source for all things Ripple and XRP. Look no further than bitcoinist.com. It was super clear I'm being sarcastic, right? I mean, my gosh. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to cover the bullet points here, probably. I just, I don't want to dig too much in this, but I will say, honestly, despite the, the headline, because I, 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 look, first of all, it's clear to me they write about XRP all the time, because, first of all, I think it's grinding their gears that XRP exists. Second of all, I'm pretty sure it gets clicks or else they wouldn't be doing it, because it's still a business, you know, it's a crypto media outlet here. Um, but, you know, even, even so... I still insist that despite the negative headline, they didn't have a bunch of terrible stuff to say about XRP. I can't find bad, uh, negative price analysis over the last several days about XRP. N nothing serious, anyway. N nothing major. But uh, here's the, the first bullet point. Believe it or not, XRP is actually one of the best performing cryptocurrencies of the past 24 hours. And believe it or not, oh my gosh, I cannot believe it's not butter. This is astonishing to me. Number two... Um, analysts are not yet convinced the altcoin is in a bull market. They claim XRP is below crucial resistance levels. This analyst, fair enough, if that's what your true belief is, but I just shared another one with you that thinks, hey, we're probably there. Uh, third bullet point. One trader went as far as to say that if bulls don't step on the gas the crypto for the crypto soon, a 25% drop may follow. Oh my God, the world would end. Uh, Bitcoin maxi trolls would rejoice, though, wouldn't they? They get really excited. Like, they always murmur, murmur. I don't know why they do that while they're wallowing around. They're like, meh, 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 meh. But when they get really excited, it's like, meh, 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 meh. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill out, Bitcoin maxi troll. You're going to break something. Bullet point number four. Although the asset is breaking higher over the past 24 hours, analysts say that altcoins will underperform if Bitcoin starts moving uh, once again. Well, there's a lot of analysts that dispute that, too, because it's not the case that um, altcoins can't increase in terms of market dominance, um, even if Bitcoin is is uh, moving up in terms of 
uh, value, you know, Bitcoin compared to the United States dollar. That can still happen. It doesn't mean that it, and just because it's it's losing dominance, that it can't increase in price. So we'll see. We'll just have to see how big it ultimately is. All right. Uh, now this piece from Daily Hodl: Ripple moves 83 million XRP as large Bitcoin and Ethereum investors transfer millions in crypto. Uh, crypto insiders are tracking a rise in activity from XRP, Bitcoin, and Ethereum uh, whales as the uh, the market's momentum shifts to large cap cryptocurrencies. In the last 24 hours, the San Francisco payment startup Ripple moved over 83 million XRP worth $19.18 million, according to XRP watching bot XRPL monitor. And in one transaction, the Ripple, uh, the Ripple appears to have sent the Ripple. Who words it like that? The Ripple has sent uh, 33 million XRP worth $7.45 million to its distribution wallet, which is used to transfer funds that are sold to third parties. So uh, there's been a lot. I, I, will, I will say this too. Over the last several days in particular, I don't know if it's just an increase in the story, so it's causing a perception type of thing here, but I just see endless quantities of large amounts of XRP and other cryptos moving around. Maybe it's them whales getting all splishy splashy. They're so excited to manipulate the markets. That's probably what it is. Have you guys seen this one too? This is just a four fun piece to wrap up the video. And as my grandpappy used to say, people are no damn good. Man buys Lamborghini after getting nearly $4 million in coronavirus loans, authorities say. Methinks with that, uh, with that, it's, it's, it's probably not the cardboard Lamborghini. I'm going to guess this is the real deal. Oh, yes, it actually is. What a terrible person. A Florida man who bought luxury goods, including a Lamborghini sports car, after receiving nearly $4 million in loans from the Paycheck Protection Program, has been charged with fraud, federal authorities announced. Good, I'm glad they caught him, and I'm glad that they're pursuing charges. Win Moon, win Lambo for this guy. I don't know, within the last week or so. When did this happen? <laughs> I forget. Anyway, PPP uh, payments are meant to help small businesses hit by the coronavirus pandemic. A U.S. Department of Justice complaint alleges that David Hines applied on behalf of a few companies for the $13.5 million in PPP loans, used money he received to shop at luxury stores and resorts in Miami Beach, then lied about how much he paid. He had uh, paid to employees. So Hines was charged with one count of bank fraud, one count of making false statements to a financial institution, and one count of engaging in transactions in unlawful proceeds. A Bank of America approved the three PPP loans for Hines. In each, he claimed 70 employees with monthly payroll expenses totaling $4 million. And he was paid, so I'll just round it, $3.9 million. But my gosh, <laughs> you know, I, the banks do a better job. Like, I understand. Here's the thing. It makes it tough. Like, I'm kind of sympathetic to the banks where stuff gets through that probably shouldn't because they were they were put under the gun. Like, there was such... I mean, it's like, I'm, I'm not kidding. You still have my bank. So I, I'm a business owner, and I did get one of these PPP loans. And... Because uh, and the government's just supposed to pay it off in full, so it's supposed to be completely forgivable. And I'm following all the guidelines. I'm doing everything on the up and up. But I was told that some of their um, their, their people working on the underwriting portion of this, like the the bank employees, some of them at my bank, which is a big bank, um, relatively speaking, and uh, they were working like 16 hour days, freaking nuts. Like that, like that's your life at that point. And so they're pushing through so much, and then there's just. Uh, and it's important, too, because there's competition for the available funds because once it dried up, like, that's it, potentially. You don't know if more is going to come. So if you don't get your customer approved ASAP, then uh, there may be no more funds. Like, you could you could ruin people's businesses if you're not working your butt off trying to get these things approved. So I am actually kind of sympathetic, but, of course, there's always going to be a small percentage of terrible humans out here uh, basically stealing from businesses that could have otherwise used the funds because they did dry up eventually and just buying a Lamborghini. <sighs> Again, my grandpappy, Sage Wisdom, he said people are no damn good. Tony, he's on some. That's it for this video, though. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.